Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how I make my character bottles. These are great for water infused bottles, uh, regular spray bottles, anything like that. Any type of drink bottle you have, these will work perfectly for you. Um, these bottles are fantastic because they've got the handle, they've got the water infused sit section inside that actually comes out as well and they come in these four cute colours. So I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get going. So what we're going to start off with first of all is typing in copy free images. You want to use these so you don't get copyrighted on anything you use so you can't use like characters like Paw Patrol or Disney or things like that just because it's actually illegal to do that. There are quite a lot of websites you can go on, there's a couple that you have to pay for and a couple of free ones. Obviously we go for the free stuff. So this is a great website that I use, it's called OpenClipArt.org and it's got a load of images that you can use from there. So let's pick any old unicorn for now. We'll go for this one, this one looks pretty cool. So you download it to your computer and then you go into upload over on the left, upload image, browse, so wherever it's saved on your computer that's where you upload it to and then you just press OK. So once it's actually on your computer you can find them all in this recently um, uploaded then go down your list and find all your ones that you want. So this is my unicorn. And today we're actually going to be doing a dinosaur as well. So let's get both of them on the screen ready. Okay, so there we go, we've got our images ready. Now if you have uploaded, sometimes it actually does your image as a print so you want to make sure that it's actually on a cut it's not a drawer it's not score it's on a cut now I like to use different style fonts for the unicorn and the dinosaur so we're going to look for them next you can use any font that you want but for the girly one I like to use uh, I think it's called Sophia and then we go down to the fonts find the font that you like now this type of font is very very gappy so I like to put my letter space a lot closer together and then if you change the colour of it, it's a lot easier to see when you place it on the top because what we're going to do is actually slice the image so it'll cut out the name and leave the actual horse like that which is quite cool. So once you're happy with how it sits on the top, it's not hanging over the edge, it's actually in the picture. You click both of the images like that, so click and drag. You go over to the right and it has a little slice button. So it'll actually do it as if it's like cutting it out like a hole punch. And there you go. So if I move it over you can kind of see how um, it's worked. So these two are now going to go in the bin. You've got the cut and then you've got the um, name that you did first of all. We don't need either of them so we can delete them. And this is now ready to go. So we're going to do the same with the dinosaur. Because they're on the one window, I like to put the colour that they are meant to be. So the dinosaur is going to be green and the unicorn is going to be pink. So let's put them on the right colours. Lovely. Now I'm going to make the rest of my orders as well. So my dinosaurs and unicorns are actually 5 inches wide, which is 5 squares. Um, but depending on the size of your bottle, you need to make them your size. So you can choose any bottle you like. I just prefer these ones because they come in four different colours. They're really, really cute. So once they're all ready and you've double checked to make sure none of the words are hanging over the edge. Because if they did, you wouldn't get the actual shape of the dinosaur. The word would just cut all the way through. So what we're going to do is press make set up my machine also it sort of like auto corrects it to where it wants to be and sometimes can waste a lot of your vinyl so if you move it around a bit you can kind of save a little bit of vinyl if you know what i mean so put them close together like that now i would normally use my blue sheet but lately it's been a bit um, unsticky so I've been using this green one which is great but it's extra sticky so you have to make sure that you pull this away from the vinyl rather than pull the vinyl off of this I'll show you what I mean at the end 
Now because this is super sticky, I don't want to push this down too much. It's going to make it a lot harder to come off. And all your settings are right. It's not mirrored or anything like that. And it's ready to go. So it's all done. You can't really see it on there, but it is cut perfectly. I can actually peel this bit back. I don't know why, it just works. <laughs> I'm gonna get the others cut and then I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so they're all cut out. Now we're gonna start weeding. Now that basically means peeling off all the excess that we don't need. So let's start with the unicorns. This vinyl is super easy to work with. If you're new, definitely pick some of this up. I'll try and link it down below. It was a ginormous five meter roll, but it's lasted me such a long time. And I always grab my vinyl off of eBay just because it's so much cheaper than anywhere else. It's brilliant stuff. Okay, so we're going to get started sticking these on the bottles now. What you need is some transfer tape. This is literally book backing. Um, I used this when I was a kid and my mum used to always back my books so they weren't getting ripped. <laughs> I know. Um, but this is from the pound shop. Um, it's super cheap, super cheap and super easy to work with. Cricut do their own one, but it's very, very sticky. I find this is a lot easier to work with. So all you're gonna do is cut the right size and then use that piece. Now with it being a new piece, what you wanna do is stick it on anything a bit fluffy, just so it's not so sticky. Grab your bottle, make sure it's on properly, lay it down flat and all you're going to do is sort of bend it in a U shape like this so you get the right part stuck down first and then what I like to do is go super duper fast like this and it just gets any air bubble out that shouldn't have been in there in the first place. Once it's all on you just peel it away. I always stand up for this bit. I don't know why. <laughs> I just find it easier. There we go. One done. Three more to go. Annoyingly, I haven't got a purple one to match the set today, which is a shame, but never mind. I thought I'd do the video where I've got at least three of the colours. Um, so that is how we make the bottles. They're super, super cute, uh, very high demand. Absolutely love making these. My kids have them as well um, for school and anything like that. They're also a great bottle because they've got handles on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you all again for the next one.